Hi, Facebook. Jeremy Otto from Auto Percussion here to help you help your student get more out of their music lessons. It's recital season here at Auto Percussion Studio, and today we are going to talk about stage fright because it's really common to have a student be extremely confident in lessons and at home during practice leading up to their performance and then freeze up on stage. But how do we combat stage fright? My first professional gig was a standard 345 minute set bar gig. While nervousness had welled up in me before some previous performances like say for school band and that kind of thing, it wasn't regular and it was nothing like the type of fright I had before this gig. But the show must go on. And so we hit, and lo and behold, about 20 minutes later into that first set, I just stopped being nervous. My fight or flight response eventually just had enough and had to turn off. I thought I had it beat, but cut to many years later where I've gone back to school for music and I'm playing in my first classical concert since high school, and I'm on stage getting set to hit my first notes on chimes, and I'm staring at my involuntarily shaking hand, wondering how I'm gonna hit the right notes if I can't even hold my hand straight. Because classical percussion does not replicate the constant engagement experience I had at the other gig, I eventually decided that the answer was to perform as often as I possibly could. And that's the suggestion that I have for you. Make your student perform often and on a regular basis. And by perform, I don't mean stand by the basement stairs with the drum set turned the other way, and I don't mean just kind of pop your head into their room as they're doing it. Make an event of it. Make them the center of attention. Move them to a different area of the house, preferably the central gathering area. Get as many people to watch as possible. Mom, dad, siblings, grandparents, friends, neighbors. Make the little brother put down the video games and give the trite but important, please set all cell phones to silent speech. Make sure that the performer knows that the attention is on them. Do this often, like once a week often. So how did I really get over the stage fright the second time? Well, about three quarters of the way through my play as often as possible experiment, I ate it. Like, really bad. On a really well-known piece in a solo performance in front of a large group of music school students and faculty. My stage fright didn't go completely away after that performance, but it quickly tapered off to the point where it was no longer an issue. I no longer have any problem making a complete fool of myself in front of others. The fact is that everyone eats it now and then, and we just need to get over the fear of that happening. So the takeaway for today is just to make your student perform. Like, perform, perform. Make them practice the performance like you make them practice the music. And you know what? There's gonna be good ones, there's gonna be bad ones, but they just learn that performing is another aspect of play. Thanks for watching. Maybe leave a comment of any cool performance ideas you have, or maybe one about how you overcame your stage fright. Or of course, we can talk about it at lessons. If you haven't already, please like the page and maybe share this video with others that might find it helpful. Thanks again. Let's hit it.